Good morning. It's Tuesday, September 26, 2023. This is your Georgia WeatherNet morning update. Showers and thunderstorms moving into South Georgia. We do have clouds over a good part of the state this morning, but take a look at this big storm system moving in from the Gulf, heading into the Florida Panhandle. Already a tornado warning issued around Port St. Joe. You can see the red box popping up there just southwest of Tallahassee. So this storm, yeah, it's packing quite a punch. If it were out in the Gulf for a little bit longer, it could have turned into a name storm, but for right now, it's just a big blob of rain and a few strong to severe thunderstorms, and a few of those storms are spinning, and we're going to watch this as it moves into southwest Georgia over the next several hours. Let's take a look at the rest of the tropics. Over the next two days, we're watching two storm systems. One is a tropical storm already. That's Philippe, and we can see a big difference in just the symmetry of Philippe and then the red X to the southeast. So all those, all the clouds are kind of to the east of the center of uh, Philippe, and then to the west, not a lot going on. So this is a very lopsided storm. That's an indication that this is really not going anywhere. Probably going to continue to weaken over the next couple of days, turn into a tropical depression by this weekend or maybe even earlier. But the remnants of Philippe may make its way all the way to the southeast United States. So we'll watch out for that as we head into next week. So uh, may bring us some rain. Could reorganize again, but we'll keep an eye on it. Then the red X, you can see a big difference there. The symmetry is good. You can even see those bands starting to wrap into the uh, center of that X. So this storm is going to strengthen over the next few days, turn into quite possibly tropical storm Rena, maybe a hurricane. Long-range models indicate that this will arc to the northeast before making its way to the uh, coastal United States. But long way to go, and with two storm systems side-by-side, that can actually make our forecast models a little trickier because it kind of changes the way the atmosphere works, changes the searing currents just a bit. So we'll keep an eye on both of these storm systems as we always do. Let's take a look at the modeling as we move through the day today. So those thunderstorms continue to track in from Florida, crossing into South Georgia. Just some light showers possible in the northern part of the state. Our severe weather risk for southeast Georgia, not really great today, just a general thunderstorm risk. Same for southwest Georgia. However, that storm system coming in from Florida, yeah, there's some pretty strong storms in there. So we're just going to watch out in Bainbridge, Cairo, all the way up in Albany, Tifton, Valdosta. Just look out for a few strong to severe thunderstorms, even though the risk is somewhat low today. We move through the afternoon hours, and we can see the bulk of that rain continuing to slide toward the east. So heading up between Augusta all the way down to Springfield and Savannah, just looking at those showers through the day today. Overnight tonight, still looking at a good rain chance in South Georgia. And then as we get started tomorrow, our rain chance will start first thing in the morning for South Georgia. Just a few scattered showers possible in northwest Georgia and a few thunderstorms up there as well. Tomorrow afternoon, the middle of the state looks pretty good. And tomorrow evening, also continuing to push that rain out of here. High pressure ridge is starting to develop up to our northeast. So that's going to help us out a lot, bring a lot of sunshine, especially in northeast Georgia. Athens over in the Gwinnett County and Atlanta should be looking good as we get going through the day on Thursday. A couple of showers along the Georgia coastline. They're going to linger around through the day on Thursday. But again, most of the state is going to be high and dry, looking pretty good. And we only get better as we head into Friday. And the weekend for most of Georgia also should be in pretty good shape. That's your morning weather update from the Georgia Weather Net. Now your local forecast from northwest Georgia to southeast Georgia.